Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will discuss the last problem of lead code by weekly contest 108. It's a medium level problem um, and an interesting one, I would say. So let's see what the problem is asking us to do. The problem name is number of black blocks. Okay, okay, let me just choose a pen. Yes. So it says that you are given two integers m and n representing the dimensions of a zero indexed m cross n grid. Okay. You are also given a zero index 2D integer matrix coordinates where coordinates of i basically represents a point, right? X comma y indicating that the cell with coordinate X comma y is colored black. All the cells in the in the grid that do not appear in coordinates are white. Okay. A block is defined as two cross two sub matrix of the grid. More formally, a block with cell X comma y as its top left corner where x lies from 0 to m minus 1 and y lies from 0 to m minus 1 contains the coordinates x comma y x plus 1 comma y x comma y plus 1 and x plus 1 comma y plus 1 don't worry about these all coordinate confusion okay i'll explain uh, to you the same thing diagrammatically so it will become easier okay return a zero indexed integer array just a second arr of size 5 such that arr of i is the number of blocks that contains exactly i black cells okay let's see what it is saying okay so this is a grid right 3 cross 3 grid okay and there are some points coordinates so all the points in this array says that okay these coordinates are basically colored black like for example here 0 comma 0 that means this this particular cell is colored black okay now there is a concept of sub matrix two cross two sub matrix okay so suppose this is my this is the grid that i have okay this is the grid that i have now if this is the top left corner okay if i consider it as the top left corner of my sub matrix then a sub matrix consists of four cells two cross two sub matrix right this cell this cell this cell and this cell right consider the top left corner and a two cross two matrix is formed right similarly if you consider this as the top left uh, what do you call it cell then these four basically form a sub matrix right this is the concept of sub matrix so overall how many sub matrix will be there total i have m number of rows and total i have n number of columns okay so what i need to do i can pick every row right let's see how many total sub matrix uh, sub matrices can be there total i have m rows right so i can choose m minus 1 rows right why m minus 1 because if i choose the last row right if i choose the any cell in the last row as the top left uh, cell of my 2 cross 2 sub matrix then actually i do not have the sufficient number of cells right because if i choose this i need another row another row right below me but that is not possible because this is the last row okay what i mean to say this is my matrix or in, instead if you see this diagram then any cell in this particular uh, row cannot be chosen as the top left corner okay similarly if i choose the last column okay any cell in the last column cannot be chosen as the top left cell of a particular sub matrix right? because you need four cells right two rows two columns so since this is the last column you cannot have a column after this right so total how many sub matrices can i form so total i can form i can choose m minus 1 rows into n minus 1 columns these are the total sub matrices i can form right now it says that i have to return an array in the form of my answer the size of my array will be 5 the indices will be 0 1 2 3 4 now at 0th index i have to tell how many sub matrices are there which have zero black cells okay so i form two cross two matrices how many m minus one into n minus one right out of these sub matrices how many sub matrix have zero black cells for example this particular black cell is part of how many sub matrices just see only this sub matrix right only this sub matrix however if i have a black cell here just assume if i have a black cell here so this black cell is part of how many sub matrices look either the sub matrix can start from here so these four cells will form a sub matrix similarly let me just change the color okay if this is the top left corner these four can form again this black cell is included right now again if this is the top left corner these four cells form a sub matrix again this black cell is included and if this cell itself acts as the top left corner then this 
cell is also included in this submatrix, right? So total, there are four submatrices, okay? So all I need to do is, the zero will represent how many submatrices have zero black cells. One will tell how many submatrices will have, on, has only one uh, black cell. Two tells how many submatrices have two black cells. Three, three tells how many submatrices are there with three black cells. And last one, four tells me, how many submatrices are there with four black cells, right? Simple problem statement was a little bit complex, but ultimately this is what it says. M cross N matrix is given. Some coordinates are given telling you that, okay, these coordinates are colored black, right? Now a particular coordinate can be part of multiple submatrices, right? All I need to do is I need to tell how many uh, submatrices have zero black cells, one black cell, two, three, and four, right? That's the simple problem that I have, right? Now, if you want to, <clears throat> let's do a very quick dry run because the problem statement must be clear by now. So just see here what happens. Let me just choose a pen. Yeah. So this is the only cell that I have. Okay. So total, how many matrices will be there? Total three minus one into three minus one. That is four submatrices will be there, right? How many submatrix has zero black cells? Okay. So just see. First, let's do it other way around, okay? How many matrices have only one black cell, okay? So just see, this is the only matrix with one black cell, right? So one. Now, the remaining three matrices that are one, two, and three. These three submatrices have zero black cells. So just see the first index, that is the zeroth index tells me that three submatrices have zero black cells. And the next one, one tells me that, okay, there is just one submatrix with one black cell, okay? Let's take another example here. Just see these are the three, uh, what do you call it? Cells that are colored black. Okay. So now first, how many submatrices, sorry, how many submatrices can I form again? Two into two, that is four. Okay. Now let's see what are those submatrices. So this submatrix has two black cells. This submatrix again has two black cells. This submatrix has one black cell and this submatrix has one black cell. So there are four submatrices. Two submatrices has have two black cells and two have one black cell. So zero submatrices have zero black cell. Two submatrices have one black cell and two matrices have two black cell, right? This remember, this is zero, one, two, three, four. How many uh, submatrices have one black cell, two black cell and so on, right? So here it's two, two. So this is what the problem is asking us to do. Now just see the constraints. M cross N is roughly 10 raised to power 10, right? So a brute force will not work here, right? However, the number of coordinates that I have is 10 raised to power 4. That means the number of cells that are being colored um, as black cells is just 10 raised to power 4, right? So I can use this thing. Basically, this will give me a hint at, uh, that how can I approach this problem, right? So let's see. Diagrammatically, this problem becomes very easy, right? How? Just see this. This is my matrix. Okay. This is my matrix. Suppose this is the cell that is colored black. Okay. This is the cell that is colored black. Now there can be at most 10 raised to the power four cells that are colored black. Okay. Now one cell can contribute in at most four sub matrices, right? What are those sub matrices? If, if I talk about this one, let's call it X comma Y. Okay. Then this particular cell in best case can be form uh, can be part of four sub matrices, right? What are those sub four sub matrices? So the first matrix is whose top left cell is this second top left cell this third top left cell this and fourth top left cell is this X comma Y itself, right? So ultimately what I can do is somehow if I can keep a track that whenever I get X comma Y, okay, X comma Y, I just check that this x comma y okay what are the uh, what do you call it what are the sub matrices uh, which are which have uh, this black cell right this black cell so i can just keep a track of that right that is what i have done here now if i if i just keep a track of this you can see the code i'll, I'll parallelly show you the code to uh, get a better understanding this is the first line which basically uh, initializes my answer right everything is zero initially now i've taken a map map of pair x comma y what is this so basically this is the coordinate okay this is the uh, or you can say this is the top left cell okay uh, any matrix will be represented just by the top left cell okay so in this map i i am keeping a track of that okay for this top left cell okay 
how many cells are colored black simple for this top left cell how many cells are colored black how will i keep a track of this just see if this is if this this x comma y okay if this x comma y is colored black then this will be a part of sub matrix which starts from here starts from here starts from here starts from here so in my map for all these four positions i'll just increment my count by one okay that's what we are doing here okay let me first explain you one more thing and this code will become very easy because the intuition is at most a particular cell can be part of four sub matrices right so let me show you one more mathematical thing and this solution will become crystal clear right suppose this is x comma y right this is colored black now based on this i have to check that what are the four sub matrices in best case uh, uh, whose part this black cell is okay so just see this is x minus 1 comma y minus 1 right let me just erase it and write it once more yeah so just see if this is x comma y this is x minus y y minus 1 this is x minus 1 comma y and this is x comma y minus 1 right these are the four sub matrices or top left corner of the four sub matrices which can have this particular cell at as its part okay now x comma y is confirmed this is a valid coordinate right so a sub matrix started from x comma y will obviously have this black cell okay i'll increment the count now or rather i'll not increment the count i'll, I'll tell you okay rather i'll not increment the count why because just see if this x comma y has to form a valid sub matrix then i should have sufficient number of cells right i should be able to form two cross two matrix how i'll be able to form two cross two matrix just see x comma y is valid okay now since x comma y is valid if x comma 1 and y comma 1 exist okay if these two exist that means i can form a sub matrix right why because this is the top left corner the bottom right corner of this sub matrix should be x plus 1 y plus 1 right if these both are valid that means yes i can form a sub matrix whose top left corner is this so a sub matrix with this top left corner will be incremented by one right the count will be incremented by one that okay this sub matrix has one black cell okay i'll keep on incrementing it right this is one thing now let's talk about this particular cell right x comma y is there this is x minus one y comma y, y uh, x minus one y minus one right now because of x comma y right x comma y can be a part of x minus one y minus one only if this is valid right because x minus y y minus 1 x minus 1 y minus 1 should be valid right that should be valid I, I have to just check the validity so just see what i've done here x comma x minus 1 y y minus 1 if these two are valid that means yes i can form a sub matrix with top left corner this so i'll increment the count of this is uh, sub matrix starting from here also right because yes that means the the number of black cells in this sub matrix okay is incremented by one because of x comma y similarly x minus 1 y and y okay now again if a matrix has to start from x minus 1 and y what are the uh, what are the other cells that it needs to have these four cells are needed right these four cells are needed now in this case what i'll do i'll just check look x comma y exist that is for sure right so x minus 1 should be greater than equals to 0 it tells me that yes this particular row exists and the other thing is y plus 1 should be less than n why because this particular row let me just change the color for clarity uh, let me choose red yeah for this particular cell okay basically th these four should exist this already exists x minus if x minus 1 exists this whole row exists and this particular this particular column also needs to be present right so that is why x minus 1 y plus 1 it's all about a diagrammatic explanation right so if there is a sub matrix whose top left cell is this and i have to include x comma y basically x minus 1 should be greater than 0 so that i know that okay a row above me exists a row above x comma y exists and a column after me also exists right and the last condition this one if x comma y x comma y minus 1 has to form a valid sub matrix what should it do it should basically it should basically tell me that y minus 1 is greater than equals to 0 
and obviously these are the four cells needed so x plus 1 should be less than m these are the only two conditions that's what i have done here let's start look into the code this pair is basically x comma y is basically representing top left cell of a particular submatrix right let's start picking up each of the points x comma y right so if x minus 1 y minus 1 is greater than 0 form a pair of this if it already exists increment the count by 1 or else put 1 simple right similarly the next point that i have for x comma y i have to put x minus what are the contributors x minus 1 y minus 1 x minus 1 y x y minus 1 these are the four points right so just see for x x minus 1 y minus 1 this is the check for x minus 1 y x minus 1 should be greater than 0 and y plus 1 should be less than n because a column after this also needs to be present right then only i can use this as the top left uh, top left cell right similarly for x y minus 1 the condition is x plus 1 should be less than m because a row below uh, this needs to be present and also y minus 1 should be greater than 0 again because y minus 1 should be greater than 0 a, a column before me should be existing right the last condition for x comma y x plus 1 should exist and y plus 1 should exist simple right so you traverse the coordinates and basically just see that what are the valid top left cells and if they are valid right just increment the count finally the total number of uh, matrices is m minus 1 n minus 1 right just start traversing um, all the points all the top left cells uh, that have at least a black cell so just see what i am doing this is a particular top left cell for this top left cell how many black cells are there in this top uh, in this in this sub matrix it is count okay so answer of count plus plus that means if this particular sub matrix suppose has um, three black cells so answer of three plus plus that means yes there is one more sub matrix with three black cells right this is the first thing that you do now comes the question how many sub matrices have zero black cells okay so it is basically the total number of black the total number of sub matrices that i can form minus the sub matrices which have at least one black cell that is map dot size simple and thus return your answer right so this is what we have for this particular problem i particularly i would say it's a very good problem um i would not rate it as a um yeah it, it's it's sort of a third level problem i would say not as a fourth level problem but a good one to solve right uh, obviously it's not doing justice uh, to a level four problem in lead code but a good one to solve interesting one okay so yeah I, I i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries related to this solution mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.